Alrighty, so hail to the motherfucking king, baby. Bow down to the Loki master race. Or don't, it's entirely up to you. The trickster and deceiver of Warframe, he loves to just mess with the minds of his enemies and of course with the fellow Tenno if you get the right dick hit in your squad. But why is it the Loki master race? Well, it's quite simple. Considered as one of the harder frames to learn and run in Warframe, Loki in the right hands can pretty much solo any mission he wants, with the exception of course of high level defence missions. Now his stealth lasts longer than Ashes, and with the right mods can last an incredibly long time, which means you can go for a stealth only mission if you want to. So if being the ultimate sneaky facker appeals to you, then you might want to get your hands on a Loki. And with regards to his powers, his decoy can be used to trick enemies long enough for you to put an end to them. Or if you're creative enough, then you can use his decoy to switch teleport to reach the perfect spot to rain hell down in defense missions. And if you find yourself outnumbered, then his radial disarm, his ultimate ability on Corpus or Grineo will make your enemies just charge at you full retard with a little prod and sticks, making it easier for you to just what the fuck pwn them into the middle of next week. Mission's done, put your feet up, have a cup of tea, good job Tenno. And of course, since the implementation of Melee 2.0, running a Melee only mission with a Loki is just great fun. It might give you that new lease of life for the game if you are feeling a little bit bored with the same old same old grind of everyday Warframe. And it is true that none of his powers actually do damage to enemies, but considering his usefulness in squad play, they don't actually need to. When stealthed you can do increased melee damage from sneak attacks, so if you're running with say the likes of a Dragon Nikana, Dual Lico, uh, Ortos Prime, whatever, Galatine, then it makes missions an absolute walk in the park. He is also the Usain Bolt of Warframes, which means you can just run your little ass all over missions. If you do get into a little bit of trouble and you find yourself uh, maybe going to die, then you can just turn on your heels and cheese it back to where you came until your health and shields regen. Now as far as modding him goes, you don't need to put any strength mods on Loki whatsoever, simply because he does no feckin' damage. But you will need power duration, power range, or even a power increase mod like Flow. If you want cheaper abilities then a streamline mod will also be ideal. Any of these mod types that you can get your hands on, whether they be normal mods or corrupted mods, then it will make your Loki a lot more powerful. So whether you agree with the whole Loki Master Race or not, then I guess that's entirely up to you. But as far as my thoughts on Loki are, like I said at the start of the video, hail to the fucking King Tenno. I think that he is pretty much the master frame, and of course that's my opinion, everyone's entitled to their own. But let me know in the comment section below what you think of Loki, is he the master frame or not? Maybe you think there's a different frame, and I don't mean Rhino. Rhino's a different kind of uh, category, he's more, like I said in one of my videos, he's the god frame. The one that's nearly indestructible, Loki's a lot more squishy, but you can stay stealthed for a hell of a long time. So let me know in the comment section below, hit that like button if you've enjoyed the video, it really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and as always guys, thanks very much for watching.